What's up, muscle car people? This is Brand Muscle Cars, and I'm Matt. And today we're bringing you another Wash Wednesday with Adam's Graphene Shampoo. We're going to test this thing out, see does it work? Does it give you that hydrophobic properties that it promises you? Does it work as well as the coating that I actually have on the Mustang? We got to find that out. First thing you have to do is see how it smells. Does it smell good? Shockingly, it smells pretty good. Tia, kind of smells like fruit punch. Like a monster fruit punch. No. Yes. Mm -mm. Smells like a monster fruit punch. Trust me, the smells one like in the tan bottle. Bathroom cleaner. No, it's fruit punch from Monster. Ugh. So, we're going to use our roots. Griots or Griots? Yeah, gri we're going to use our Griots Garage uh, br new Brilliant Foam Cannon. Just came out. We're using an active power washer. And we got the Flexzilla hose. So the instructions say to use two to three ounces. What I'm going to do is use, I'm going to foam it down once, and then we're just going to rinse it off. We're gonna see, does it give you any properties that way? The, the, I almost said Under Armour, but it's Armor All. That ceramic one did do that. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna foam it again, and then use the wash mitts, wash it down, and see if it works even better that way. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a short every Sunday for an update to see how long it lasts. If today is Sunday, we're washing it on a Sunday. You'll see the video on Wednesday, but it's actually Sunday. And then we'll give you updates every week to see how well it works. So let's pour three ounces in here. I got these cups all from Amazon, like 50 of them for, for 10 bucks. I write which one I'm using, which soap I'm using in it. This is a pretty thick soap. And you can see, can you see the bubbles in there on the video? Yeah. It's like, there's definitely something in there. It's not, maybe it's bubbles, but they're not they're, moving. Like beads or something. Yeah, micro beads or yeah. micro spheres of some kind. So, we'll see. It's, it's not. It's like graphene in there. It could be. Graphene it's, spheres. You can see the bubbles on this side when I shake it. It's coming up to the top, moving around. That's pretty neat. Uh, it's not the thickest, but it's also not the thinnest stuff we've used. It still smells good. It smells like that monster. I don't care what you say. Oh, no. So we're going to put it in foam cannon. We're going to shake it up a little bit. And then we're going to foam the car. It's a little bit windy and we got our my neighbors mowing all on. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> Did you show our very adorable assistant today? No. You can show them. That is our assistant for a week. We picked up a dog for my mom. He doesn't have a name because I'm letting my mom name him. We're just calling him Puppy. And Buddy. And Houdini because he Teddy. escaped out of the crate. Yeah. He likes to sit right on your feet and be right underneath you. So I didn't wash the car last. Jared and David did. And it looks like it does have some type of coating on it. So I'm not sure. The windshield definitely is worn off by now, but that, that's what it does because the wipers and everything. So we'll see how long this lasts. I'm not sure if it's a topper or not. We'll see if it pulls any dirt off because that's, I mean, that's one thing a foam is supposed to do, pull some, pull some dirt off and um, we'll see how well it foams. I'm not sure. A lot of these with graphene or ceramic in it don't foam that well. It looks almost clear once you have it in there. So let's get it going and see how this works. Not bad. 
That's pretty good. I will say it makes some very good foam. I, I'm surprised. It's not like it goes to soupy kind of fast, but right off the bat, it's good foam. Making the sound <laughs> Off any dirt though. No, I don't either. Not like that other stuff, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bless you. And this car has not been washed in like three months. Yeah, I mean, you can see the dirt on the car. What's that? You can see the dirt on the car. Yeah. When you just rinsed it. But yeah, I don't see it coming off in the phone. All right, let's rinse it off and see how it looks. Okay. Okay, guys, there may have been a coating on here before, which it was beating up a little bit and sheeting off a little bit, but look at it now. It is much more pronounced than it was. And this was out without hand washing. You can see that there's a lot of little beads here. You can see it bead right up. So that's an encouraging sign. Now, let's see if it gets even better once we foam it and then actually wash it with mitts and rub it in, because that's what the instructions say. So, is it beating up on the windshield? It's definitely beating up where the wipers are not. I wonder, like you can still feel some grit and grime on here. I wonder, because you can see it like all where the wipers don't go, it's really beating up now. I wonder if we should clay bar this and then coat it and see if that works better because i drive a lot of miles i really want the windshield just beating right up like the old you know um what's that stuff called Rain -X. yeah Rain-X stuff where it would just run off it only lasted a couple days but still but all right so let's get to the washing part again i'm going to use three ounces of the foam <clears throat> And we'll see how that goes. I put a little bit more water in the foam cannon this time because uh, I pretty much ran out last time. It is a massive vehicle, so. cups are really handy and I really like this foam cannon it works great even the cheaper one I got I like a lot because it has the bigger opening those small opening ones in my opinion suck you're gonna have to have a funnel or something to pour it into just makes it one more step one step harder so all right let's pick this up
it dwell for a few minutes and then we're going to use the uh, wash mitt. It's hard to tell. I mean, I think it's beating up a little bit more. What do you think? Yeah, I think there's smaller beads. Yeah. Than before. The windshield. Don't I think that really improved a lot. No, not really much at all. Which kind of sucks. Where when I used the detail spray on the Mustang, the graphene detail spray, it worked awesome, and it held up for over a week. But um, I mean, overall, as a soap, it was okay. It good created good foam. I would say as a topper, if you already have a graphene coating, it'd probably be something that's nice. Uh, I do like using the graphene spray coating as a topper. Uh, you could probably use bead maker if you're in a pinch is this something good to use i'd say sure um i don't think it's it's not going to replace their regular shampoo at least i don't think maybe i doubt it but let me know what you think of the graphene shampoo if you've used it i know it's a fairly new product and they i mean they've been putting ceramic in stuff for a while I think long-term goal for all these companies is to have something as easy as that to put on a coating and it's going to replace the spray coatings and the wax essentially. But are we there yet? I don't know. I mean, only if you wash your car probably every other week and not everybody does that. If you only wash it once a month, I would say it's probably not going to replace those coatings that last three, four months. But let me know what you think. I'd say it's a nice product. I don't think it's going to replace anything that I've, I have to use now. I mean, I think it works just as well as the Armor All stuff. And the Armor All was probably, I mean, you get three times as much. So it's probably a third of the price per wash. And I would say it's about the same as that it does smell nice i like the smell maybe tia doesn't but i like the smell so let me know what you think down below uh hit that like button hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any cool videos like this wash wrap racing mustang muscle car stuff and even on fridays we do fiesta friday so check all those videos check all those videos out and if you're like us and you got a fast car, you better bring it. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to link a couple videos. Well, I'm going to link a video on this side right here, right under the S550 that you probably will like. And I'm going to link a playlist for something similar to what you just watched right here. Please click one of those. Click that subscribe button because we need as many subscribers as possible to keep bringing you this awesome content. Thanks for watching, guys and stay tuned for more action.